Hey guys, I'm Susan. I'm a Chinese living in Milan for eight years. Today, I want to tell you what I really love about Italy. Well, besides the Italian history, art, fashion, culture, food, and Mediterranean climate, I think the people make this country more beautiful and attractive. I mean, Italians are so warm. They are a happy and passionate nation. You know, if I walk in my compound, actually there are several buildings in my compound, okay? For sure, there are a lot of neighbors who I don't know. But if I bump into someone that I don't know, they will still say buongiorno or salve to me, like good morning. Well, I feel so warm. <laughs> but this won't happen in China. I mean, greetings between strangers will not happen in China. Even when you are waiting for the lift in your building, if there is somebody else waiting there too, and you don't know each other, you won't say a word to each other. That's common. And you know, if you go to the supermarkets in China, the cashiers are more like robots. They probably would say ni hao to you, but there is no emotion behind the words. And they won't say anything like, how are you doing today? After you paid and get going, they will not say something like, have a great day, like buona giornata. But here in Italy, I found all the cashiers are so nice to people. When they see you, they will say buongiorno. When you leave, they will say arrivederci, buona giornata, or buonasera, buona serata. Isn't that nice? <laughs> And I tell you guys, I just renewed my permesso di soggiorno. Uh, it's like residential card in Italy last month. When I went to the Questura Milano, it's like immigration department. As I get the number for the queue, I found out it was really a super long queue. So I decided to go out for a breakfast instead of staying there inside. And I showed my number to the policeman at the door. I just told him that I just go to have a quick breakfast and I will come back soon. You know what he said to me? He smiled and said, Buona colazione. <laughs> it's like, enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> Oh my God, I would never imagine a Chinese policeman say something like that to me. No way. <laughs> How can I not love this country?